hello, hello. Hey, beautiful. How are you doing? I am fine. So there's a few things that I want to say about this woman right here. Let me tell you, I, I had never seen somebody hustle so hard <laughs> on TikTok as far as getting her business out there, as far as trying to make sure that she's uh, taking care of herself and uh, her family. I remember one day she was on for like 16 hours just trying to uh, show people who, as they came into the room, what her business was about. And uh, one night I just happened to come onto one of those live uh, selling her stuff and I liked her her uh, her, her uh, glasses and her and I start talking about some things and then she starts to tell me some personal things that I thought was uh, very powerful. She told me her story. So I bought uh, four shades from her. She gave me one for free. I will be getting those uh, probably sometime in the middle of the week or uh, the this beginning weekend. of next week. She's going to briefly tell you her journey um, on how she became an entrepreneur and what's going on with her. And then we'll get into the question and then the Q and A. Um, without further ado, I present to you Lady K. Hi guys, my name is Lady K. Um, my birth name is Cashel Mache, but I go by Lady K, that's my business name. Um, what inspired me to be an entrepreneur is my current situation. My current situation is due to COVID and my different health problems. I'm currently homeless. I do live in a shelter with my husband and um, my daughter. And some days are harder than others, but by me opening this business, it inspires me to move forward and it also distracts me from dealing with my own mental health and depression. Um, I also went through a lot of different things as a child and a teenager. I am adopted. Um, my mother gave us away at birth and due to substance abuse. Um, I have been raped. I have been molested. And, well, not me by myself. Me and my twin sister have been molested and have been raped together and abused and went from foster home to um, foster home. Try not to cry. <laughs> but you guys, I just want, I wanted her to give you a brief, brief background of her story yeah. because, you know, when I went onto her live, I had no idea that she was homeless. And that's the reason why she has been uh, going on on TikTok to sell her business so she can get her and her family out of the situation that they are in. Um, and I found it very interesting that, uh, sh you know, that she found a way to, tr to provide for her family through TikTok. You know, I just thought that it was her, it was interesting that it doesn't matter your situation. She's had a hard life and uh, she's had difficult circumstances, but she keeps fighting. Um, she keeps fighting for not only herself, but now her family. I wanted you guys to uh, meet her. So I want to get into what made you start the business because you told us that you're homeless. But what made, what was the deciding factor that you said, okay, I need to make a business? What made me start the business was one night I was just sitting here um, online shopping and I was like, you know, what am I going to do? I can't go back to work. I've been working for 15 years in the medical field. Um, I also worked 18 years in um, child care. And due to my health problems, I can't work, but I have to find a way to get my family out of this place. I don't want to feel stuck, and I have to find a way to get my family out of the shelter. So I'm shopping, and I said, you know what? I like to shop. And I also want to make someone else's day, you know, with the different products I sell, I want to make someone smile, feel beautiful, feel radiant, and know no matter what you go through, just knowing that you can wake up every day smelling good, looking good, and feeling good, and loving yourself and self-happiness, that's what made me open my business. Because I was such at a down place, but just knowing that people love my products, love my personality, and wanted to support me, 
it starts to make me feel better. Mm-hmm. And it gives me hope. My business, it gives me hope. All right. Um, it's, that's very inspirational um, that you want to, despite what you're going through, you do want people to smile, you know, despite everything. Um, so I know that you sell clothes for all sizes, but I do know that you do specialize in uh, plus size clothes. Um, why is it that you specialize in plus size clothes or did you see that there was like a need uh, for you to specialize in, in that area? One reason why I specialize in plus size clothes because as um, I was growing up from a teenager in my younger 20s, I struggled with buying clothes. You know, it was hard for my mom to find clothes for me. And then even now in my 30s, sometimes, you know, you buy a shirt and it don't fit right, and it don't feel right, you don't feel comfortable, you feel exhausted, it feels tight. So I felt, what if I show other women the type of clothing that will make you feel beautiful and that will make you want to go outside and that will make you feel confident because there's a lot of women that's my size, even skinnier, petite, all different sizes, don't feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. And it does feel good to go outside in a shirt and say, hey, where you get that shirt from? Oh, it looks nice. And feel confident because it covers your stomach, you know, it covers your back rows. And then you got the right pair of pants. You feel comfortable and relaxed. That's the main reason. I want to make women that are in my community feel beautiful and feel welcome and want to go outside and want to feel comfortable. That's the main objective. You know, we put on a persona like, yeah, we're happy and deep down inside, some of us are battling different issues due to our weight. Mm -hmm. And I think that the shirts that I sell, the leggings, the pants, the dresses will make you want to feel confident and go outside or be around people. Okay, I, I, I agree. Um, my weight goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Mm-hmm. And when I was, you know, I once was three, almost 300 pounds. And, you know, it was so difficult to find clothes during that, that, that time. Uh, it was like grandma's clothes. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, when I, you go in the store, you'll be, you'll be surprised. Like, you be like, this is it. This is what we get. Right, right. I got a plain pink shirt. <laughs> Right. It was so difficult to find clothes at the time. And it's just like, you have to be small to be pretty, to be cute and to feel like, you know, to feel good about yourself. So like, it was like, so, it was so frustrating to me. It's grandma's clothes. But listen, Lady K is here to let you know, you're going to be just fine and fab. Just shop with me. <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> you know, even with undergarment. Oh my God, undergarment for... I think women are so, like, at one point it was so boring. Uh-huh. So it's like, you know, it's expensive but boring. And I'm like, no, I have to do that something. That was the thing that kills me. It's like, it's a double slap <laughs> in the face, right? Not only is it more expensive because it's more fabric, but you're, it's all, it's not, it's not even cute. So no. like, when they, like, okay, I'm getting more money to just look like a grandma. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the grandmas are paying less money to look like a teenager. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Look at all, you just, I don't know. <laughs> Especially like, you know, uh, you know, clothes can really age you. Yes. You know, it really can. It can take 10 years. It can make you look 10 years older. Um, I have some so, people walk up to me like, oh, you look pregnant. Or oh, are you older? You know, and it's like a plain shirt, plain pants. You know, your sneakers leaning to the side. No, no. I, want to just, I just feel like... You know, like this shirt right here makes me feel cute. I feel like youthful. I feel like a box of cotton candy. Like, you know, that's how I want people to feel when they buy my stuff. I want you to feel like just mm, some fresher breath air, fresh air, you know? Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next question. Yes. I mean, like, I wanted to go over that because I've been there. I've been okay. there when I yes. try to buy stuff in 3X, 2X, and, um, and you think you're hopeful, to, like, yeah, this is going to fit, and you get home, and it's not right here. You can't, you you know what is so funny is that you 
you know, you had to go to those places where nobody wanted to go to find some nice clothes. I'm talking about yes. like, you know, in the hood. And it, it, it's like, you know, they're the only ones that have clothes that's appealing, you know, mm -hmm. appealing for plus size women. So it's mm -hmm. great that uh, we can go to th these different uh, different places or different people that has it. I, I told the audience you, you sell an assortment of things. Um, but one of the, the, the main thing that I bought from you was shades. You sell a whole bunch of shades, glasses, uh, pocketbooks, purses. Um, so if you can uh, share with us what exactly do you sell? I, I'm just going to be running down the list for you, but what do you <laughs> well, sell exactly? As you guys know, I sell, of course, plus size clothes. It's clothes for all sizes. I just want to pause and say I am coming with stuff for men. I did not forget about my brothers. Don't worry, I'm coming, coming soon. <laughs> um, <laughs> I sell gift baskets like this, you know. Um, now, the funny thing is, I didn't know, a lot of my gift baskets that I um, sell are unisex. See, I didn't forget about you men. Yes. Yeah, the baskets. I Can, do you glasses. have any of your shades that you can yes, show them? I, got them. I have these. Those are the ones I have. Those yes. shades are so freaking dope. I cannot <laughs> wait, wait yeah, you to get wear your, you them. Get, you, get, you should get your package by this weekend. I milked it today. I have some pink ones. That's really cute. And these came in today. These are very. Oh, those pretty. are the ones that you are. Yes, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought yeah, those yours too, is but yours you gave too. me that one for free. Yes, love. Yes. Those, I, you guys, you you cannot tell me that those. <laughs> I love them. I can't wait. So those is. I also have. I also have other shades that are coming soon. Mm -hmm. Um, I will be showing those later. I have glasses. You can get the glasses prescription. You can get the glasses non prescriptive or blue. Um, wait, I have these. I have some like this. I have all different type of glasses. And the reason why um, I do glasses is because I am partially blind nobody knows that oh wow yep um i started losing my vision after i had my daughter so i have two outrages in this eye and stigmatism and i have um one in this eye so you know i was like mm, what am i gonna do what am i gonna do you know if I'm, you, gonna lose uh, my, if I'm gonna lose my vision i'm gonna lose it in fashion <laughs> right at the period okay period okay oh, and that's on period if you're going to lose your sight if you're going to uh lose anything make sure that you are doing it in fashion and in style okay yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um you also sell fragrances for both men and women fragrances and perfumes um the men's i will start selling i sell both Okay. And my men line opens up next week, Tuesday. Okay. I'm super excited about that. And my website will be up and running next week. I'm super excited. You can buy from my website and you'll be able to buy from TikTok. Okay. What made you get into uh, selling men's fragrances, first of all? all right, I'm going to be honest with you guys. My husband told me I was sexist. <laughs> You know, I'm going to be honest. I want to be the raw, authentic me. So I have to be honest. Mm -hmm. My husband said, mm, this smells good. And, oh, this smells good. Do you have anything for men? And I'm like, no. He said, oh, you're <laughs> sexist. I said, no, I'm not sexist. And I also had um, men on TikTok be like, I want to support. What do you um sell? And I told them the face mask and all these different things. And they was like, um, do you sell fragrances and stuff for men? And I say yes. So now I gotta live up to my word. 
and sell fragrances for men. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you showed it a little earlier, but you also do sell baskets. Like, do you have any other baskets that you want to show everybody? I also do these baskets. I also, and I also make um, baskets too. And trust me, the baskets that I make, I make with love. I know that you also sell beauty products. The mask. Yes. yes. We got to stay beautiful. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, I'm for it. <laughs> I'm all about beauty. <laughs> My name is Chocolate Beauty. <laughs> I'm all about <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I sell a lot of face masks because um, I suffer from um, bad eczema mm -hmm. and I feel like why go outside and get a face shoe when you can buy a face shoe? Ta -da. That's right. It's, I mean, facials are fun. I mean, it depends on where you go. I've had some yeah. few experiences that I didn't, it wasn't nice. <laughs> Yes. It wasn't. It wasn't so this, at all. This, this one comes with three different types of face shoes. Mm -hmm. And come on, guys. You can't beat And it comes with a brush. You can't beat that. Mm -hmm. You got turmeric. You got Dead Sea, which is good for your skin. And it, um, acne control. And believe it or not, no matter how old you get, you will get some acne. Because I suffer from bad acne. Underneath all this beauty, <laughs> I think you know it, it does come with age. As you age, yes. your skin mm -hmm. starts to change. Mine has absolutely changed over the years. Okay, so we're going to open up this section for Q and A. Welcome to everybody that is coming in. Um, we, if you guys are interested in asking her any questions about anything that she sells, I told you guys when uh, before this mm -hmm. interview started that. Uh, Lady K does sell an assortment of things. I mean, that is not the only thing that she sells. I know that she does um, water bottles as well because she was she's on the fitness journey to lose weight, and uh, it, it's it's a way to promote her business. My husband moved all my stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so uh, so I will I want to answer Pet and Logic. Her she's working on her website. It doesn't launch until next week sometime, right? Yes. Yeah, but for now, you can definitely go on TikTok. You can order things. You can leave your information in my inbox, and I'll definitely um, get back to you. Um, I also have stuff on my Instagram, my Facebook. But I do all my live shopping on TikTok. I'm like, pretty sure right after this interview, I'm going to be showing some stuff. Because mm -hmm. today is a special. Uh, okay, let me see if I see any other questions. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you get the water bottle? Yes. Okay, so this water bottle that she sells, I you can't see it. Hold on. Now that I, I see you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so this bottle is something that she uses. A fitness challenge uh, for, for her Facebook page. And she does sell those water bottles uh, yes. to help people. So that is her signature for her uh, for her weight loss challenge. Yes. So that's something that she also sells. Okay, so you guys have any more questions? Any questions? Do you have any questions? How much are your glasses? Special is two for 10 and four for 20. And these are one for 12. Regular Make sure ladies. if you're interested in her products that you go and click and add her, please. Make sure that everybody adds her. Um, if you guys are interested in her products, I bought her shades. I have five coming to me, and I cannot wait to rock them. Okay, I can't wait. I'm super and excited. I also, I also, about I also sent you a money coin bag too. I sell. I forgot to show my little coin purses. I know I'm cheesy, but guess what? Who doesn't love cheese? <laughs> this one changes colors. Like, come on. I love your purses. Those come are cute. You. you guys, please too. make sure that you <laughs> add her. Add her and follow her. She will be uh, selling her product. So, 
you guys please uh, know that um, I'm bringing these people on on the platform for a reason it's very important for me to help as uh, many entrepreneurs as possible uh, I want to create a space where they can speak about their products so they can be seen as you guys are making friends on here uh, listen, show her, you see those glasses right there that she got in her hand? Uh, 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 Precious said those glasses look like boom. I have the black ones and the brown ones coming to me. Listen, for those of you who are just coming in, the reason why I decided to uh, interview uh, Lady K was because I was on her live and she was selling her product. And then she told me about her situation. I want you guys to be encouraged, okay? This is a woman that is homeless. Homeless, she is in a shelter right now. But that didn't stop her from trying to make a way for her family. And this is the kind of story that I want you guys to hear. This is the kind of person that I would like to bring on my platform. They're having a hard time, but guess what? They're going to continue on their journey. They're gonna make sure that they're gonna find a way in order to provide for their families. So I felt like it was very important for me to bring her on to this platform. Uh, for those of you who have missed it, you are now watching it from my YouTube channel. I will be posting uh, all the videos that I do this week with all the entrepreneurs, but this is the reason why it's very important that you guys uh, see people who are entrepreneurs because you don't know their circumstances. You don't know their, it, you don't know what's going on with them. So I was, I was completely um, blown away when she was telling me her story. She's always like, when she comes on camera, she's presentable. You know, she talks to everybody. She is very pleasant. You would never know that her circumstances was uh, completely different from what she was showing you. Please understand that all orders must be paid for in advance. Due to her situation, she cannot purchase it and then, on, uh, and then not have you guys buy it. So it's very important that you guys understand that you have to pay for your purchase first, okay? Pay for it first and then it will be mailed to you. I just want people to understand that, you know, sometimes you just have to fight for what you want. And this business gave me a reason to fight. You know, my family means the world to me. And putting a smile on other people's faces also means the world to me so people think i'm crazy no matter what i'm going through i still want to help people i still want to be there for people and by me selling pretty products and wigs and bags bring a smile to you guys face it brings joy to my heart you know so it's not so much of the money yes i am trying to support my family but i also want to make someone's day i also want to make someone happy or you know just make you guys smile mm -hmm. that's my platform my platform is to share my story when you come to my page I, I go in and out of my story i do give advice i do i am working on becoming a life coach and i know i can inspire someone mm -hmm. i really I, do absolutely you and i mean like you you your story touched me so deeply because you're always so kind and loving. Whenever I come in your room, you show me so much warmth. And I never and felt And sometimes anything. there'll be nobody in my room, and guess what? I still be talking and singing and talking. <laughs> and I'll be conversating, because I know somebody's watching. You, you better speak to that room like there's a million people in there. Yes, I That's how the way that you're supposed to do it. And um, I see what Platinum said about if you're growing in here, make sure that you are following my guests. Thank you, Platinum. Yes. Make sure that you guys are following her, support her. And I started, you know, we my, want to get I started her. my business was just um, with my unemployment. And it was a rough week, but it started picking up. So follow your dreams. If you have dreams, don't let nobody tell you different. Mm -hmm. And my saying is, do not let your past paralyze your future. Do not let your past paralyze your future. Don't ever feel stuck. And if you ever feel stuck, just call Lady K. I'll get you out of that situation. <laughs> I, got I, just you. Love, I love the fact <laughs> that you tried to, like, you know, 
you're always trying to help me. Like, you know, everybody knows that I am working on merchandise. And I went onto her live one night and um, I was having some issues and she was just giving me, she was just running those ideas and she was like, it's only me and you. So I'm gonna tell you this, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, wow, uh, okay, that is true support. <laughs> That's true support, <laughs> you know, because uh, you didn't know me and you were upset about the situation that was going on with me, with my um, with my platform. And you were just like, oh no, like we need to make sure that you're making, you're making those shirts, you're making this, you need to make sure that you're doing this, doing that. I told you the other day, you, you have a lot of vision and you're very wise. And I truly mean that. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not connect with her, you know, if you just only want to connect with her with her business, that's fine. But if you really want some wisdom, if you really are, are having a hard time, she will encourage you and give you some kind words. You know, she uh, she really was like, you know, you need to get on a few things, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you, you're a leader, you're a leader. You and, are, you uh, are. And, and so I, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to support you the best way I know how. And that's to uh, have you on my platform and have people see you. You know, I know that this will go somewhere. I know that this this platform will go somewhere. Uh, but it's, it's very important to me that I support businesses like yours. I support people in your situation. Uh, a lot of people have lost everything due to uh, the pandemic. And uh, they're still going. They're still trying to make a way, you know, to... to, to to still love out their dreams, yes. you know, to due to the fact that they lost income, they're trying to make a way for themselves. And you have, you are the very definition of that story. I appreciate you coming onto my platform, doing this interview with me. Um, I try to try to make sure that people know that uh, the support that I give is genuine. Uh, so, you know, Lady K, if there's any more any anybody else if you just came into the room please make sure that you guys are following lady k she is somebody who has a story to tell uh she is an entrepreneur she is fighting you know she won't allow her situation or her circumstances to be uh, a way to uh to hold her back and also she is a person that tries to take care of people who really need the help despite what she's going through. She wants you to smile. Do you have any questions over there in your chat? Ask them about your business. I just got chat a whole bunch of just heart emojis. Then I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> 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 I just got flowers and heart emojis all over the screen and love. Yeah. Let me yeah. tell you something. Love is important, you guys. And especially with all this coronavirus and the, how the world is you know, going right now, we just need to reach out and touch. You know, when y'all go by the room and stuff, even if someone's not talking about something that's interesting, just just say hello. Mm -hmm. A hello will make someone's day. Do mm -hmm. a simple hello. If you have nothing else to say, just an acknowledgement of a simple hello, how are you doing, will make someone's day. Yeah. Especially with all this stuff that's going on in the world, we just need to reach out and touch somebody and that was the purpose of me opening my business. I want to touch someone, mm -hmm. you know, when, you know, fashion, skincare, wigs, edge control. I got you. I want to touch someone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, do you have any uh, closing remarks? Do you have any closing remarks to say or anything that you would like to add uh, um, to? I would like to say thank you all for tuning in. And I was nervous. I got through it. Yeah, and yeah. I want you guys, you know, support me and I'll support you. Mm -hmm. You follow me, I'll follow you. You call me, I call you. Ask Chocolate Beauty. She knows. I love how you doing. Yeah, she's sure <laughs> sure sure so sure 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 Yes, please. Let's be supportive. Let's be more loving and more kind to each other. You know, if you don't like something, let's inbox each other. Please don't report each other and get each other's pages shut down. Let's, oh, yes. 
<laughs> Keep on and loving. I, I, that's the reason why I, I was so upset. I had somebody else for this week, um, and I was like, listen, I'm going to have to push you back a week. I, you know, they, they were like, fine. I told them about your situation. They were like, it's mm-hmm. okay, it's fine. I was on her page, maybe, I don't even know, like that same night. And the her main night. page got suspended. And it was just like, why did anybody suspend her account when all she's doing is trying to sell something? She's not She's not engaging in poor conversation. She's very professional. She's like, she. she when you go into her room, it's like, hi, hi, hi. Welcome to the room. Welcome to the room. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hey, thank you. I see you. Welcome, welcome. Please tell me about your day. That's how the way she talks. Yeah. That's how the way she talks. So <laughs> I was so blown away because she just told me her situation. But she was just telling me that she she's homeless. And she's working out from her shelter. And I, and I got so upset. One thing with me and, 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 and one thing that you will learn about me i i i tend to feel other people's pain i'm and like that too when i i invested into i invested into your company Sue's told me i was just like i have a live to do i'm going to send you the cash app i sent you the cash app without even telling you that i sent the cash app to pay for the glasses but i put down chocolate beauty so hopefully you would have got it because i had so <laughs> much going on and i was just like this it it, it, it was unfair because you weren't doing anything wrong. We're trying to just make sure um, that you are selling things, that people are coming on there and uh, ordering things. And this is why I'm telling everybody on this live, if you're not already doing so, make sure that you guys are following. And I come in peace. I'm huh? not on here saying, ooh, for the change can. I'm working for what I want and mm-hmm. for what I need for my family. And I'm also at the same time meeting new people, putting smiles on people's faces, and that's all that matters to me. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy though. Despite of what I'm going through, I just want to see people happy. Is there anything else? I I, I don't I don't even have any more questions. <laughs> no, we did good. <laughs> yeah, we did good. We did really good. I thank you guys for being Everything kind to well. my room. And I think I appreciate those who are in your room that's also being kind. You must mm-hmm. be 18 or older to buy her products, okay? To buy her products. Not to be in her room, but to buy her products, okay? You must pay for your orders in advance because what happens is, is that if she purchases the order for you first without you paying for it, she is stuck with that. Uh, there was a situation where she told me that somebody bought like $150 worth of stuff and she went and paid for it, paid for the shipping, and it's still sitting in her apartment. And she had to do a giveaway. We we cannot do that to people when they're business owners. Please make sure that you guys understand that you have to uh, buy or pay for your things in advance. And her website will be up and running next week, and her men's line will be coming next week as well. Thank you so much, um, Cherry, for coming, or Lady K, <laughs> for coming on this live today to speak to us. Um, hopefully, we'll have you again. So, thank you so much for uh, doing this interview interview with me. Um, I love you, and I hope that this will help you um, get new customers. Uh, please support this uh, this woman. She is um, an amazing individual. She's a, a, a person with a big heart. And I, uh, so thank you for coming on to my, my room. You guys, if you want to, you're more than welcome to go over there. Okay, I don't know if you, I, one thing I will suggest to you is that you have a time, you have a set time mm-hmm. of, of when you're going live to sell your products. And yeah, I do, I've been online. working on it. Okay. I've been work. I've been trying to work on time management. Yeah. Because sometimes time I come on here like, hey. <laughs> Especially like when you know that you're somebody that has more to offer than just what you're selling. You, yeah. you you're somebody who's been through a lot, and you want to help them uh, with conversation and have raw conversation. So you need. I mean, like you know, it would be good that it's good that you talk about both when you're doing your uh, lives. But I think that if you want to just focus on that conversation, that that should be separate. This is just my opinion. You know, you know this is my advice. Yes. That you, no, you uh, leave totally a right. section for that. 
so people will not get distracted because you want to make sure that when it comes to business that you you are able to to sell your products yes okay my darling yes all right my darling it was nice talking to you i will talk to you later okay talk to you later Uh